Hi guys, good morning. So today I wanted to share with you uh, an experience I had in the call center. Um, turning an energy, well, a negative person around with my crystals, amethyst and citrine. So stay tuned. Whew, hi guys, it's Marsha with Marsha's Mine. <laughs> Okay, so this is where I give you tips on call center life and experiences that I have went through and that have worked, things that have worked. So um, the other day I was on the phone with a customer. Immediately when um, I answered the phone, I didn't have a, a, a screen pop with the information. And I said my name, where I was from, you know, all that jazz, the greeting. And all of a sudden I heard, is someone else on the phone? <laughs> I was like, uh, hello? I am. Ma'am? Oh, hi. Yes. Uh, so she was very paranoid, kind of a caller. And um, she didn't want to give me her social to pull up her information. So I, she gave me her um, other identification numbers and I pulled her up, but I still had to verify her by her last four and her date of birth. And she gave me grief about the last four and she's like, oh, I don't want to give that out. So I explained to her the protocol and how I wouldn't be able to proceed if she didn't do that. So she finally gave in and did it. And then she's like, what's your name? And what's your badge number or whatever identification number or whatever she asked for. And I gave it to her in a way that this information was like information. Not like I was in trouble or anything because you could tell she was just keeping notes and keeping track of who she spoke to. And she was a paranoid person, you could tell. So I um, kind of cradled her, I guess. Careful what you say. You know, don't make her mad. Answer her questions. I would try to do the verification process, which consists of seven questions. and on the third or fourth one she's like oh wait no I have a question you didn't let me on ask a question <laughs> so she basically asked me what she was calling for and I told her I'd have to finish the verification process to look into her file so I did and I got to the point where I told her what happened she's like no blah 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 so and so sent it to me I haven't received it and I said well another person sent it to you on this day oh okay so it didn't come today I said well it should be here today or tomorrow and she said well huh well I hope it comes today because if I don't get it tomorrow I won't have it in time for my Saturday appointment and she's like I pray it comes and I said I pray it comes too and in that moment I had grabbed my amethyst and my citrine crystal because I didn't know where this call was going I didn't know she's gonna get mad at me I didn't know what she was gonna do she's already paranoid and I mean it's like what do you want me to do mail it again <laughs> I told her she can go into the office and get it um, but she's like oh no I said I can email it oh no I don't have an email I don't have a computer you know whatever so finally at that point when I said I'll pray for it she goes yes Marsha would you pray for it please and I said yes I will and you know in the beginning I was kind of being facetious like yes I will pray that you get it so you stop bothering me <laughs> but then after I was like I do really pray that she gets it because I don't want her calling again and then when she said that she was just like she turned around totally right when I picked those crystals up so you can call it in my head you can call it whatever you want but I thank higher self, the, the energy that is instilled into my crystals by the new moon, by the full moon. I believe in the healing properties of amethyst and the, the citrine um, reflects negativity. I totally think that was what happened. It was awesome. And I have more of those stories. If you want to hear, thumbs up. Leave me a comment if you have any questions and if you want to see those crystals. So I just will let you go because I got to drive and I will see you later. Bye-bye.